Hey friends, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Boltzmann entropy equation, or uh, I would say we are going to derive Boltzmann entropy equation. And uh, we know that Boltzmann entropy equation it is nothing but it relates the entropy with thermodynamic probability W, and it is given by S is equal to KLN W. Now, according to Boltzmann, the entropy is the function of thermodynamic probability. That is, we can write S. As a function of thermodynamic probability W, and what is this function that we are going to find it out using mathematics? Now we know that entropy is a state function. That is, it depends on the initial and final stage of the system, as well as thermodynamic probability also is. So suppose if we write S is the total entropy of the system, then it may be written as we can say S one plus. S two, where S one and S two are the individual states, or suppose if we are considering that our system moves from state one to state two, then the total entropy of the system will be equal to the sum of the entropies of the both the states. And thermodynamic probability W is a multiplicative function. That means if suppose F, sorry, suppose W is the total thermodynamic probability, then W we can write it as W one into W two. Okay, so over here we all know that uh, we will multiply this by the function f. So f we can write it as W that is equal to function of W one into function of W two. Now further we know that entropy S is sum of S one plus S two and that will be equal to function of W one into W two and S one, or we can write S one. We can write it as function of W one and S two. I can write it as function of W two. So individual, we can individually we can write that function of W one plus function of W two that will be equal to function of W one into function of W two. Now we will differentiate this particular relationship. With respect to W one, keeping W two as a constant, so we will differentiate this particular relationship with respect to W one, keeping W two constant. So differentiation of this term, I can write it as f dash W one plus. Now this is constant, so it will be zero. So it will be zero, and that is. Equal to again this I can differentiate by using differentiation by parts and for that differentiation by parts uh, we will have first suppose if I keep w one constant then differentiation of w two will be zero so the first term will be zero and again I will will have w two constant and that we will have differentiation of w one that is f dash w one w two and again. What we will do is we will again differentiate this particular relationship with respect to W two, keeping W one constant. So when we keep W one constant, then this is W one. So this will be obviously it will be equal to zero, and that zero will be equal to. So again we need to differentiate this particular term by using differentiation by parts. And for differentiation by parts, what we will do is Now first we will differentiate this term, keeping this constant. So this term will be constant, and differentiation of w two will be equal to one. Plus again we will we will keep w two constant. So w two is our constant, and again we will differentiate this, keeping again both these terms will be differentiated by ah uh, diffusing will be differentiated by using differentiation by parts, and again we will have w one. Into f double dash that is double differentiation of w one w two. So this is what we get it. And again we know that w one into w two it is written as w. Okay, so w one into w two we can write it as f of w. So I can write zero is equal to f dash of w plus capital W into f double dash of w. Now further if we consider that We are keeping p, or if we consider that p is equal to f dash of w, then I can write dp upon dw will be equal to our f double dash 
w and when you substitute or for f dash of w we can substitute by p and f double dash of w we can substitute by dp upon dw and hence uh, we will have p plus w into dp by dw and that is equal to 0 so i can rearrange this particular term and upon rearranging we will have p into dw so dw i can take common into dp and that will be equal to 0 now this is nothing but this is our again differentiation by parts that is keeping one constant differentiation other and keeping other another constant and differentiating the first so i can combine the write it as d into p into w and that is equal to zero okay upon integrating this term that is we know that differentiation and integration they are opposite of each other and they will cancel out each other and hence we will have only wp that is equal to k where k is our integration constant so when we integrate it we will have this particular term and over here k is constant now further we know that p was our f dash of w and f dash of w f dash of w was nothing but it is differentiation that is dw of f of w okay so p i can write it as dw of f of w into w and that will be equal to k so i can write w into dw into function of w and that is equal to k we will rearrange this particular term and upon rearranging we will have f of w is equal to k into dw by w sorry it is d okay so d of f of w is equal to k into dw by w and when we integrate this again when we integrate this particular term then we will have integration and integration integration of dw of upon w we know it is ln of w and this differentiation and integration will cancel out each other and we will have f of w is equal to k ln w plus c where c is our integration constant and this k we know it is our boltzmann constant now planck he showed that the value of c that is this integration constant is equal to zero and hence we will have function of w is equal to k ln w so we know that f of w is nothing but is equal to s and hence we have s is equal to k ln w which is the famous boltzmann entropy equation hope the derivation was clear thank you very much